Hello students, we were in a chapter called <coughs> Land Resources in Geography. In the previous class, we learned the land use pattern of India, the meaning of land use pattern of India, the classification of land use in India, net zone area, forest area, land not available for, for cultivation, fallow land, cultivable wasteland, permanent pasture and other grazing land, land under miscellaneous uses, agriculture. We learned the meaning of agriculture, what, how and why agriculture is important in India, the different types of agriculture practiced in India, in that Subsistence farming, under subsistence farming there are two different categories, shifting farming, sedentary farming, intensive farming, commercial farming, mixed farming, plantation farming, dry farming, humid farming and irrigation farming. This is what we learned in the previous class. Let us continue the lesson today. Crop season and cropping pattern. What is meant by crop season? Cultivation of crops based on the season is called crop season. In India, there are three cropping seasons. Number one, Kharif season. Second one, Rabi. And the third one, Zaid crop season. So these are the three cropping season in India and different varieties of crops are grown in different parts of the country during these three cropping seasons. Let us now take up Kharif season or Kharif crop season. The crops grown during the rainy season are called Kharif crops, crops that are grown during the rainy seasons are called Kharif crops. In this season, the sowing takes place in June or July when the southwest monsoon starts. So the sowing starts along with the southwest monsoon. And the crops are harvested in September or October. The important crops that are grown in Kharif season are rice, jawar, ragi, cotton, groundnuts, tobacco, etc. These are the main Kharif crops. The Rabi crop season. Under in this season, the sowing takes place in October and November. <coughs> when the northeast monsoon begins and harvested in February or March. This is known as the Rabi season and the important crops of Rabi season or Rabi crops are wheat, barley, gram, linseed etc. The third cropping season is Z crop season. The crops are grown in between Kharif and Rabi crops are called are known as Zaid crops. The crops which are grown in between Kharif and Rabi season in between Kharif and Rabi crops are known as Zaid crops. During this season watermelon, cucumber, oil seeds and some pulses and vegetables are grown. So this is all about the four, three cropping seasons. Cropping pattern. What is meant by cropping pattern? The cropping pattern of a region refers to the proportion of an area under different crops at a given time. 
the proportion of area under different crops at a given time refers to cropping pattern. The cropping pattern of any region in India changes from time to time. It is not always the same. It is not common. Cropping pattern of any region in India changes from time to time. It is due to several factors such as relief features, soil, climate, size of the farm, water supply, income of the farmers and the technology used. Cropping pattern Major crops of India A wide variety of crops are grown in different parts of India and they can be classified as food crops, commercial crops, oil seeds and plantation crops. Food crops The crops which are grown to provide food for the people are called food crops. For example, rice, wheat, jawar, pulses, etc. They all come under the variety of food crops. Rice. Rice is the most important food crop of India. It is the staple food, main food item of the people of eastern, southern and southwestern part of the country. India has the largest area under rice cultivation in the world. But in terms of production, India is the second largest producer of rice only after China. Which country is the largest producer of rice in the world? China and India occupies the second position. And rice is a major curry crop of India. Rice cultivation. You can see the rice harvesting and rice plant rice farm paddy field geographical conditions required needed to grow rice students make a note of this this is a very important question for public examination what are the conditions required what are the geographical conditions needed to grow rice? Rice is primarily a tropical crop. It is mainly grown in tropical area. It requires high temperature of 18 degree to 25 degree Celsius and heavy rainfall of 100 to 200 centimeter per year. Alluvial and clay loam soils are best suited for the cultivation of rice. Rice needs standing water and it needs level land. Means, round the clock there must be standing water. And since the water has to be standing, the land must be level. So rice, rice needs level land and needs standing water and irrigation is necessary wherever rainfall is less. These are the geographical requirements or geographical conditions to grow rice. Rice is grown in almost all the states of India. However, West Bengal is the largest producer of rice in our country. Which state is the largest producer of rice? West Bengal. The other important producers of rice are Andhra Pradesh, 
उत्तर प्रदेश पंजाब तमिलनाडु उड़ीसा एंड कर्नाटक वीट वीट इज द सेकेंड इंपॉर्टेंट फूड क्रॉप एंड मेजर रबी क्रॉप ऑफ इंडिया इट इज द सेकेंड इंपॉर्टेंट फूड क्रॉप एंड मेजर रबी क्रॉप राइस इज ए खारीफ क्रॉप वेर एज वीट इज ए रबी क्रॉप वीट इज एन इंपॉर्टेंट स्टेपल फूड मेन आइटम ऑफ फूड इन द नॉर्थर्न एंड नॉर्थ वेस्टर्न पार्ट ऑफ द कंट्री geographical conditions required to grow wheat students make a note of it this is a very important question which has already appeared in september 2020 public examination what are the geographical conditions needed to grow wheat wheat is a crop grown in temperate regions wheat requires moderate temperature of 10 degree to 15 degree celsius it requires an annual rainfall of 50 to 70 cm heavy loams and black soil are best suited for wheat cultivation so these are the geographical conditions requirements to grow wheat wheat is mainly grown in the northern plains including punjab rajasthan gujarat maharashtra and northern part of karnataka among the states uttar pradesh is the largest producer of wheat in india which state is the largest producer of wheat in india uttar pradesh and among the countries of the world India is the second largest producer of wheat in the world next to China. Which country is the largest producer of wheat? China. And India is the second largest producer of wheat. This is wheat and wheat crop ready for harvesting. commercial crops what are commercial crops a crop that is grown for sale is called commercial crop crop that is grown for sale mainly for sale is called a commercial crop example sugarcane cotton tobacco oil seeds etc sugarcane Sugarcane is the most important commercial crop of India. India has the world's largest area under sugarcane cultivation. India is the world's largest area under sugarcane cultivation and India is the second largest producer of sugarcane in the world next only to Brazil. Which country is the largest producer of sugarcane in the world? Brazil. And India stands second. Sugarcane is the native of India. The origin of sugarcane is India. Sugarcane was first grown in India and all other countries started growing after that. So the India is the origin native of sugarcane it is the main source of sugar gur or khandasari the sugarcane grown in india is used and extract extraction of sugar gur or khandasari gur or jaggery geographical conditions required to grow sugarcane students this is again a important question which has appeared in september 2020 public examination what are the geographical conditions needed to grow sugarcane sugarcane is an annual crop sugarcane is a annual crop it 
means sugarcane is neither a kharif crop nor a rabi crop or not even zaid crop because sugarcane requires anywhere between 12 to 15 months for harvest so therefore it is a long duration annual crop it is grown in irrigated areas to grow sugarcane the area must be completely irrigated irrigation is very much essential sugarcane requires a very high temperature between 21 degree to 26 degree celsius and heavy rainfall ranging from 100 to 100 cm per annum sugarcane grows well in alluvial and loamy soil alluvial and loamy soil are best suited for growing sugarcane so these are the geographical conditions needed to grow sugarcane the most important sugarcane producing states in india are uttar pradesh maharashtra tamil nadu karnataka gujarat and andhra pradesh so these states are the major sugarcane producing states now look at the sugarcane cultivation from sugarcane we extract sugar good good or jaggery then khand sari we call khand sari as crystal sugar or candy sugar so these are extracted from the sugarcane that we produce in india tobacco tobacco is one of the most important commercial crop or cash crop of india it is mainly grown for sale tobacco is used for smoking bd cigarette cigar cheroot hookahs so tobacco is used for making bd cigarette cigar cheroot hookahs which is used for smoking and the very little tobacco is used for chewing snuff and manufacture of insecticides the re uses of tobacco geographical conditions required to grow tobacco you can make a note this can be again an important question what are the geographical conditions required to grow tobacco tobacco is a tropical crop tobacco is a tropical crop and it requires high temperature between 21 degree to 23 degree celsius moderate rainfall of 50 to 100 cm a year sandy loamy soil is best suited for tobacco cultivation and tobacco requires chemical fertilizers so these are the conditions required to grow tobacco in india tobacco producing states are andhra pradesh gujarat uttar pradesh karnataka tamil nadu maharashtra and bihar now india is the third largest producer of tobacco and the fourth largest producer of uh, largest exporter of tobacco in the world india is the third largest producer and fourth largest exporter of tobacco in the world this is tobacco crop and tobacco is used for smoking cigarette bd cigar or cheroot hookah and powder called snuff powder is also manufactured and bottom right hand side that is the dried tobacco leaves which is used for making cigarette bd snuff hookah other things 
fiber crops what are fiber crops the crops which provide raw materials for textile industry are called fiber crops because these crops provide fiber cotton and jute are the most important fiber crops of india cotton and jute are the most important fiber crops of india because these crops provide fiber they are used as raw material in textile industry therefore cotton and jute are important fiber crops cotton cotton is an important industrial and fiber crops cotton provides not only fiber it also provides raw material to industries therefore it is an important industrial crop and a fiber crop because it provides raw material for the cotton textile industries in india geographical conditions required to grow cotton students make a note what are the geographical conditions needed to grow cotton cotton is a tropical and subtropical crop so cotton is grown most mostly in the tropical and subtropical area therefore cotton is a tropical and subtropical crop cotton requires 21 degree to 24 degree celsius of temperature and rainfall of 50 to 100 cm in a year black cotton soil is most suitable is the best suited for for the growth of cotton and cotton is mainly grown as a kharif crop so cotton is a kharif crop the important cotton producing states in india are gujarat maharashtra andhra pradesh haryana madhya pradesh punjab karnataka and tamil nadu india has the largest cotton growing areas and india is the third largest producer of raw cotton in the world this is cotton cultivation beverage crops what are beverage crops the crops which are used to produce stimulating drinks are called beverage crops the crops which are used to produce stimulating drinks are called beverage crops coffee and tea are the most important beverage crops of india tea tea is the most important and cheapest of all the beverages india is the second largest producer of tea in the world after china which country is the largest producer of tea china india stands second india is the second largest producer of tea in the world after china and tea is a plantation crop tea is a plantation crop what are the geographical conditions needed to grow tea students make a note geographical conditions needed to grow tea tea is a tropical and subtropical crop tea is generally grown in tropical and subtropical regions tea requires a temperature between 21 degree to 30 degree celsius and requires heavy rainfall of 150 to 250 cm in an year tea grows best in deep and fertile soil which is rich in humus tea require hill slopes hill slopes with an altitude of 1200 to 2400 meters above sea level 
tea is mainly grown in Assam, West Bengal, Tamil Nadu and Kerala. This is a tea plantation. Cup of tea, tea leaves and the dried processed tea leaves, tea powder. Role of Articulture and Floriculture Articulture What is meant by Articulture? The intensive cultivation of fruits, vegetables, flowers, medicinal and aromatic plants is called Articulture. I repeat again, what is Articulture? The intensive cultivation of fruits, vegetables, flowers, medicinal and aromatic plants is called articulture. In India, articulture provides an incentive for making agriculture more profitable through efficient land use, optimum utilization of natural resources and generating skilled employment for rural masses. These are some of the advantages, benefits of articulture. Articulture enhances exports and provides nutritional security. India with its wide variety of climate and soil has a very good potential for growing a wide variety of horticultural crops. So, it is India has a wide variety of climatic conditions and a very good variety of soil and because of this they provide potential for growing a wide variety of horticultural crops. Nowadays, India has emerged as an important producer of horticultural crops. India is the second largest producer of fruits and vegetables in the world next to China. India's share in the global market, in global production of fruits is about 11% and that of vegetables is about 7%. Articulture is carried on mainly in Andhra Pradesh, Haryana, Himachal Pradesh, Jammu and Kashmir, Karnataka, Tamil Nadu, Kerala, Maharashtra and Uttar Pradesh. Floriculture What is floriculture? Floriculture is the cultivation of flowers for sale for commercial purpose. Cultivation of flowers for sale or commercial purpose is known as floriculture. India is known for the art of growing flowers since time immemorial. From ancient times, India has been known for the art of growing a wide variety of flowers. Floriculture plays a significant role in Indian agriculture. It has the potential of generating income, providing employment opportunities for farmers, especially women, and add to the export of the country. These are some of the benefits of floriculture. India's agroclimatic conditions means the climatic conditions in India are very much favorable for agriculture. Therefore, India's agroclimatic conditions are very suitable for cultivation of variety of flowers. In India, <coughs> growing traditional flowers India is known for growing traditional flowers such as 
जैस्मिन मैरीगोल्ड रोज कोसांद्रा एंड अस्तर एंड कट फ्लावर्स इंक्लूड्स आर्किड्स ग्लेडियस कार्नेशन एंथोरियम एंड लिलीस सो दीज आर दी इंपॉर्टेंट वेराइटीज ऑफ फ्लावर्स विच आर ग्रोन इन इंडिया एंड फ्लोरिकल्चर इज मेनली डेवलप्ड इन तमिलनाडु कर्नाटक आंध्र प्रदेश महाराष्ट्र पंजाब हरियाणा एंड वेस्ट बंगाल यू हैव ए लुक एट दी फ्लावर्स द ट्रेडिशनल फ्लावर्स ग्रोन इन इंडिया इंडियन ट्रेडिशनल फ्लावर्स जैस्मिन फ्लावर मैरीगोल्ड rose aster and crocandra these are some of the important traditional flowers grown in india along with traditional flowers in india we grow cut flowers also cut flowers are in great demand and also have great commercial value the cut flowers that we grow in india the most important among them are orchids gladiolus anthurium lilies and carnation so these cut flowers are in great demand and also have great commercial value 